Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can launch Hyperledger Basu using Docker. Needless to say, you need to have Docker installed, so if you haven't got this, then please do so now. If you do, then let's refer to the documentation here, where you can see running Hyperledger Basu from a Docker image. The command is actually quite simple. If you type in docker run Hyperledger Basu latest, this will work and it will go ahead and grab an image and then start up Baisu. But what I want to do is jump into Docker Hub to show you how this really works under the covers. Over here you can see there are various images that have been provided to you in order to start Hyperledger Baisu. There's a latest image, we've got a development image and various snapshots or older versions that you can use based on your circumstances. What we're going to do is use the latest version here and we're going to run the command docker pull. Now you may recall from the documentation here this one uses docker run. The difference being that docker run will do a docker pull if the image is missing. So it's almost two commands in one. But what I want to do is separate the two, just so we can understand what's happening a little better. So for us, let's go ahead and first of all do a docker pull to grab the image before we run it or execute it. Now before we start docker, what I want to do is run this command here, docker images-a. What this does is it shows me the existing images in docker. And you can see here, we don't have any. I also want to double check and let's go docker PSA, which will show me all my containers as well. And of course I'm starting from scratch, so there are no images and no containers. So let's go ahead and do a docker pull. First of all, this will take about a minute, so I'll catch you back very shortly. Okay, and we're back. So we've downloaded the image. So let's go ahead and do a double check. Let's run Docker images again. And there you can see we've got the Hyperledger Basu image. If I show you the containers, we don't have any containers at the moment. So let's start the Basu client within Docker by using Docker run, we'll go Hyperledger Basu. Basically it's the name of the image. Hit enter. And we should see the Basu Enterprise Ethereum client spin into life, as you can see here. So that's how we go ahead and run Basu from a from a Docker image.